All right, Shalom Israel. What's good? It's your brother Kalab. I'm on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great and teaching repentance to the house of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh, Kalab, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rock with Dash. Hey, double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone. Charles is true, then who will will. I want to send a humble citation to the hopeful lick, pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say shalom. Brothers, bear with me one second. I just gotta get this sign up real quick, and then I'll be right, I'll be right on it real quick. Alright, everybody all about sitting outside. Hey. And, and, and these right now in these times. Hey, right now in these times, uh, Satan. All right, bear with me. Hey, to the spirit. Hey, we're living in some very beautiful times. We're living in the times where Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is getting ready to show mercy uh, to the elect nation of Israel, and and uh, to his remnant, the elect, those uh, those uh, established as the elect, right? The 144,000. And the one third, okay, which consists of the so called African Americans, Hispanic, and Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the true biblical Israelites. And Yahweh, we're in a time where Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father, is getting ready to show mercy upon his children, which is in the scriptures is the children of Israel. So that's what we're proclaiming. That's that's the, one of the main points of, of the doctrine is that we're telling our people, you so called Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're God's chosen people, you are the Heavenly Father. And with that being said, with that fact, with that fact being true, you're uh, you're un you're obligated and you're under contract to seek the heavenly Father before He wipes you out through the Spirit. And Yahweh is getting, getting ready to do a great marvelous work upon the earth, uh, uh, upon Babylon the Great, and that's what we're de declaring. We're declaring the uh, great works of the heavenly Father. I'm dealing with the sign, dealing with the sign, but Satan will not prevent me from uh, from withholding this lesson to the Spirit. We're gonna Spirit. So we're getting ready to see uh, Jerusalem, which is synonymous with the nation of Israel, uh, getting ready to be planted and to be exalted above all the nations, which is the which is a true righteous lot okay, that the Heavenly Father has ordained uh, from the foundation of the earth through His remnant, the elect. With that, I have I, I must just start at the top of Isaiah chapter 14 and one says, "For the Ottawan will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose Israel." Okay, y'all, Bashim Yashay is biased. Yahweh is a biased power. Yahweh is a biased power, and he he is, uh, he does, uh, you know, he, he's not as as the, these Christians uh, as they depict him as some all loving, um, all loving, all uh, all uh, merciful power. No, Yahweh he is great in mercy and he's great in loving, but Yahweh is a, is a power of judgments. Yahweh is the Lord's pre pleasure. Hey, uh, uh, to to deliver judgment, right? To, you know, to the spirit. So, so right now we know, understand that Yahweh Bashim Al to the spirit. He's given us the understanding through it's like uh, books, like Second Ezra chapter. Uh, I could, I'll, I don't want to all grab it at some point. Second Ezra chapter nine, right? Measure out the time diligently. We're seeing Yahweh Bashim Al as our. Uh, so, so the gameplay is right as our and, and throughout the scriptures is we would know as our enemies. Uh, uh, Hegemony, right? As our enemy's uh, empire starts to go down, our empire, right? Uh, the role reversal would commence. We're start, we're getting ready to see the exaltation of the nation of Israel, according to the scriptures. So I'm gonna continue. So that's why the scriptures say, yeah. In, in these times, uh, in these times that we're at the cusp of Jac Jacob's trouble, at the cusp of all uh, all hell breaking loose, sedition, uh, famines, wars, and pestilence, uh, Yahweh Bashim is going to show mercy unto his elect. The scriptures say, uh, I. Uh, uh, the, he has uh, he has respect unto his elect. I don't want to talk to the spirit of uh, where those those souls created from the foundation of the earth. So I'm gonna continue there, saying with Isaiah chapter 14, and one once again says, "For the Ottawa will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose Israel and set them in their land, and the strangers shall be joined unto them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob." And all and, the, and according to and I don't want to grab, grab those uh, examples as well. The strangers would be the, uh, according to the scriptures, the heathen nations, all that pertain not 
of the uh, of the nation of Israel. You so-called uh, Arabs, you so-called Japanese, you so-called Chinese, you so-called uh, Caucasians. You're not so-called white man. Of course, we understand through the spirit as well. I'm not going to leave that out. That we we were scattered amongst all the nations, but predominantly. We understand uh, if your father's not on this, that's what we, one thing we push as well is a 12 tribes chart, which is accurate to the spirit. If your father's lineage does not go back to the 12 tribes of Israel, uh, you're going to be reserved for slavery. OK, and if you're a, an Edomite, which is a so-called white man, you're going to be reserved for, uh, for a thousand years of brutal slavery and ultimately extermination in the kingdom. All right. So how about in these times that how about Shema Shai is going to let loose upon the earth and bring those judgments? He's going to have mercy upon his remnant. Isaiah chapter 14 and 1 says, For the Ottoman will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined unto them as what? As and they're going to be joined unto them as, as possessions. And the scriptures goes into that. I, I don't want to veer from the point, but we have many examples. It literally says, you know, uh, 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 they're, they're going to be our slaves, okay? It literally says that more more than several times, okay? It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse two says, this is this is this is a prophecy that's getting ready to come to pass. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them. We're going to possess these goddamn filthy uh, nations. We're going to possess these so-called white men. We're going to possess these crackers that have afflicted and have uh, shed the blood. Of the children of Israel, okay? You goddamn devils are getting ready to go into slavery, you fucking filthy devils. And that's a part of the playbook that in order to for us to get to that fulfillment of prophecy, that the world essentially would expire, essentially the, as the earth passes away. That's the indicator as to as to the nation of Israel. According to the scripture, you so-called Spags, Latinos, and Native Americans, Yahbashim Hashem is going to get raised to put us in our rightful position through the Spirit. Isaiah chapter 14 and 2 says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Ottoman for servants and handmaids. And they shall take it says, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule, and they shall rule over their oppressors. What's that mean? That means that we're gonna rule. Well, what, what happened to the nation of Israel? What happened to the so-called Negro and the Americans? Shall tell slavery. They were put in slave ships, brutally and, and nakedness, and in want of all, and, and, and in hunger. Y'all, Bashim, y'all shall put these curses upon our people. You know, start, starting with Judah, right? I mean, we, we started through all, all, all our people, right? But I'm focusing on Judah, right? At this moment, Judah went through the transatlantic slave trading. So did the Native Americans. The rape, robbery, and pillaging of the Native uh, of the Americans, which belonged to the Native Americans. Right, the con the, con uh, the the conquistador, the Spanish in uh, conquest, where they rape, rob, and pillage the Americas. Uh, you know, you can go. Uh, you know, they destroyed the Aztec empires. They destroyed the Mayan empires. They destroyed our brothers. You know, um, you know the Incas. They, you know, they came for that gold, pushing that Christianity. And what did they give us? They gave us the sword. So Yahweh Hashemah has judgment. Uh, has ju proclaimed judgment upon these heathen nations that it was through their hands they committed these abominations but it was for our transgressions and we're getting ready to be delivered out of uh this this, this judgment that's coming to babylon which is the second judgment right which is going to be delivered with uh, with thermonuclear fire and and so we believe through the spirit if we be those men is going to uh before the angry nation comes is going to beam us up out of here in those chariots and that's something you've got down see that's why this is a high level this is a high level doctrine it's not for everybody okay many are called but few are chosen you got to have a high level understanding and you got all ultimately you got to be chosen from the foundations of the earth and those are the ones that Yahweh Hashim is going to he's coming to, he's going to come and swoop us up in high ro royal fashion all right Isaiah chapter 14 and 3 says, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Ottoman shall give thee rest from thy sorrows and from thy fear and from the hand of bondage where thou wast made to serve. Yup, that's, that's what happened to us as a people. Up to this day, we're still dealing with that shit. Okay, we're, uh, we're sub uh, to the spirit. Let me see. Yeah, we, we, uh, we were subjugated and to this day. Uh, this is this is uh, going into our uh, us remembering ourselves. The scriptures talk about, and, and in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. And then, and then another scripture, which I'll go into it as well. It says, uh, Israel and Judah shall uh, in, in these. Well, I'll grab it here. I'm gonna grab it here before I grab uh, this uh, one in Baruch. 
So this is the time. This is uh, Salakia. Jeremiah chapter 50, if you bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 50 and 4. This is this is us to the spirit where we're fulfilling prophecy, right? All you brothers out there laboring, right? This is what this means. And these are the tabernacles of David being risen up. Okay? The reign of the elect rising up. That spirit of life has come into us. I'm going to touch on that as well. Jeremiah chapter 50 and 4 says, In those days and in that time, saith the Adawan, the children of Israel shall come and the children of Judah together going and weeping. They shall go and seek the Ottawan their power. They shall seek the way to Zion with their faces did words saying, come and let us join ourselves to the Ottawan in a perpetual covenant that, that shall not be forgotten. And Yahweh Shemashai is going to honor that. Thwadi Yahweh Shemashai is going to honor that and honor and, and, and bring us into the land that he swore with the oath unto our forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and these goddamn devils, these heathens, they're going to be beneath our damn feet. Hey, so, so, so now, right, that's, that's part of the prophecy uh, and going into in more details uh, what's happening through the spirit. We're crying to you, the, the, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom combined. Our brothers, we're walking in accord one, one or another. Right, and we're seeking the Heavenly Father ten times more, and that's the fulfillment of prophecy to the Spirit. We're remembering ourselves, okay, pursuant to the book of Baruch, chapter 2, Baruch chapter 2 and 30 says, For I knew that they would not hear me, but the reign of the elect, you know, has been given the ears to hear, the eyes to see, okay. But for the majority of our people, it's going to take death by pain. For them to come in that correct spirit, but the elect right now is being risen up in a righteous spirit. Baruch chapter 2 and 30 says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities. What's the land of their captivity? Here in America, Babylon the Great, where we're so, where we're made a mockery and a proverb amongst all the other nations, right? And we're subject to payments. Okay, it says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Verse 31 says, And they shall know that I am the out of one, their power, for I will give them a heart to ear. So like that, that's what's happening now. That's us to the spirit. It says, and it says, it says, I shall, it says, Salakia, it says, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Verse 31 says, and, and, and shall know that I am the auto on their power, and I will give them in heart and ears to hear. Verse 32 says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captive, ta captivity, Salakia, and think upon my name and return from the stick net and, and return from the stick neck. Allah, 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 destroy these goddamn devils and return from their stiff neck and from their uh, wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Ottoman. And the point is, that's the condition that Yahweh Shem Yahshai abased us as a nation, because Yahweh Shem Yahshai is trying to show us, just like your son, right? It says, he that he that uh, spares uh, his son from the rod, you don't love your son. So Yahweh Shem uh through, through correction, right? Through really his correction, Yahweh Shem Yahshai, he correct, he's correcting us, so that we may be uh, worthy uh, to, to, to be before him to, and to inherit the promises that was bestowed, which is, which is a, ki a kingdom that passes not away, that dwells with righteousness. Okay, so we had to, we had to, it's a lesson, right? It's a, it's a lesson. We went off and we, dis for our disobedience, we uh, disregarded and not hearkened to the Heavenly Father, law, statutes, and commandments. We didn't seek the Heavenly Father, but, uh, but heap idols unto ourselves. And how about Shema shall let all these curses come to pass? That's how we're able to understand who we are as a people. You so called Hispanic, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Because the scripture is telling us, you know, this nation, the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the, the remnant uh, of the nation of Israel, you know, we would be a destroyed people. And look, look who's the most destroyed upon the earth. You so called Negroes, Latinos, so called African, uh, Hispanics. And, and indigenous people, we're the most lost people. We don't even have a God. We don't even have our own sovereignty. We don't even have our own our own country. We go and, and, and bow down before a filthy fucking cracker devil that's given us nothing before but oppression. Okay? So that's that's how we're able to understand who we are as a people, right? Through the spirit. So these curses came upon us. I don't just all touch on that in Deuteronomy. Okay? Brute chapter 3 and 8 says, Behold, we and this is this is us as a people. Okay, it says, Behold, 
We are yet to stay in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed for the Ottawa our power. Verse 9 says, Hear Israel the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. Verse 10 says, How would happen is see, give ear Israel. Understand why? Because we we fell away from our power. We uh we we took the most high Yabashimasha for granted. We would have been we would have been in our excellency, but we fucking want to heap up to these goddamn ways of these devils, these ways of these goddamn heathens, these false gods. And we still do this to this day. So that's why Yabashimasha has to de uh, delete our people, the majority of our people, which is the two daughter I'll grab that as well, pursuant to I believe it's Zechariah chapter 13 and 8. Okay. Baruch chapter 9, it says, Hear Israel. Okay. So called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. Okay. Uh, give uh, that the word of the Heavenly Father, the law, statutes, and commandments. Yahabashim Yahshai, the doctrine of Hamashah Yahshai. That's, that's life. And I'm all around to start. I'll go into that. Okay. It says, This is what this is. Uh, this is. The, the question that this is a, to bear the uh, to bear the question it says how it happened in Israel that thou art in thy enemy's land that thou art waxing old in a strange country that thou art defiled with the dead how, how how did we come how did we get to where we're at from our regal estate to this fucking low position how because we transgressed against the heavenly father well, all right how it happened in Israel that thou art in thy enemy's land that thou art waxed old in a strange country that thou art defiled with the dead. Verse 11 says, that thou, it says, that thou art connoted with them that go down into the grave. Verse 12 says, how, how hast thou forsaken the fountain of wisdom? God has showed, God, thou, Salakia says, for if thou, if this is saying, if we would, like I mentioned, right? If we would have uh, uh, stood on the ways of the heavenly father, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have all these uh, atrocities committed unto us. It said, uh, Baruch chapter two and 13 says, for if thou hadst walked in the way of Yahweh, thou shouldst have joy and peace forever. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop there and see what the Spirit's got reserved for me. I queued up a few things here. And also, I'm going to get to a portion where, you know, uh, because we're coming to a time where Yahweh Shema shot under, us understanding what the Scriptures say. Let me grab that to the Spirit. We have the, uh, What has to happen, according to prophecy, is that America, Babylon the Great, uh, where the evil is sown, has to be turned upside down, meaning that this place of our captivity... Uh, of our prison house, of, of the house of bondage, the second time right around, which is America, has to be thrown down. For that good to come, where dwells righteousness, where those promises were bestowed. And that's what's getting ready to be, uh, that's what we got laid, that's what the Heavenly Father's got laid up for uh, his, his nation, right? But starting with the remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel. If you bear with me here. Second answer, so we understand through the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Hashem is bringing this place to not. Yahweh Bashim Hashem is destroying Babylon the Great on behalf of the remnant of the elect, so that he may make good on his promises that he gave our forefathers. Baruch, it's like it. Baruch chapter 4 and 29 says, If there that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot come that is sown with good. Okay? So this place has to be sown with good. Because according to his promise, hey, the rent elect, uh, we seek those promises. Uh, uh, according to his promise, we seek uh, new heavens where dwelleth righteousness. That's what the rent of the elect has laid up in their heart through the spirit. It says, if there which is like uh, second Ezra chapter 4 and 29 says, if there that which is sown be not turned upside down. And as the place where the evil is sown passed not away, then can it not come that is sown with good for the grain. And this is speaking of America. Wow. You know, uh, exactly speaking of America. It says, for the grain, why is, why is the evil sown? Why is evil sown in America? Because everything that America, and along with the so called white man, Esau Edom, that he allows, that he promotes, that he uh, subjugates our children to homosexuality. He uh, he puts those trans fucking genders in the classrooms. He he fills our streets full of drugs. He fills he, he fills our food full of poison. He comes with all these fucking wickedness, all sorts of fucking evil, all sorts of witchcraft upon who? Upon the nation of Israel. That's why Yahweh so much has to fucking obliterate this place. All right, to the spirit. 
So we, we praise the Heavenly Father for making good on his promises and bringing this bitch down. Along with our people that are that are joined hand in hand. And along with you goddamn fucking gooks too. Alright? Y'all about to be going to put your ass in slavery too. Alright? Don't give a fuck, man. So we're seeing you how about Shimei Hashem bestowing mercy upon his children, okay? And then we're coming into the time where Yahweh Hashem is breaking off that yoke of bondage. We're about to be, uh, we're about to get, uh, be ready to set, be set loose to the spirit. Let me see. I'm gonna grab something right, and through the spirit, this is that, this is that, this is what. Uh, well, well, the rent, the elect. This is what uh, this is our burden. This is what we uh, we deal with. We groan, uh, we travail, and groan together. You know, because we're uh, we're afflicted in this captivity, this bitter ass captivity that our enemies have us under. So uh, we have a desire to be, get the fuck out of here. Okay, Isaiah chapter fifty one and fourteen says, "The captive exile hasten that he may be loose, and that he should not die in the pit." Nor that his bread shall fail. And the Wadi Abashimashi is not going to let that happen. So I will, so I will, I will not suffer him there more to dwell in the land of Egypt. Yabashimashi with the mighty and stretched out hand, he's going to deliver his reign. And we believe that. Whole heart. We believe that 144,000% the Wadi Abashimashi, Lord's will. Yabashimashi, we be found spotless and blameless before the Lamb. The Wadi Abashimashi. The Wadi Al Bashim. Let me see what I got here. Hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna start at 20. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10 and 20 says, "It says, and it shall come to pass in that day. This is coming up, and it shall come to pass in that day. Saith the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Adawan, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. So we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna." Uh, no more, uh, Yahweh Hashem is not going to suffer us to be subject to these fucking devils. Yahweh Hashem is going to allow us to praise Him in our, in our holy land and to, and to our standard, the law, statutes, and commandments is going to be the only thing uh, that they going the whole world is going to be under subjection. Under the our way is going to fly. Guess what? If the our ways don't fly, you die. Isaiah, we're going to stand in truth the Holy One of Israel, okay? Isaiah chapter tw uh, 10 and 21 says, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For that my people Israel is as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant, and this is, this is what I've been talking about all day. It says, for though, for though thy people Israel as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return, the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. And the scriptures prescribe says, Shall faith, uh, shall faith, uh, shall faith be found? Absolutely. Okay. When Yahweh comes, which we understand through the Spirit, uh, the, these times is going to be coming as a thief in the night, pursuant to. Uh, I'm gonna grab it just through the Spirit. Might change up a little bit. So just, we got to speak about the judgment as well. We got to keep the balance. Uh -huh. I'll grab that. Give me one second. I'll find it here. No problem. 1229. Beautiful. So this destruction that's coming at hand of Babylon the Great is coming as a thief in the night. But Yahweh Bashima has shown his strength to elect mercy in regards to the judgment that's getting ready to come down the pipe. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and 1 says, But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Ottomans will come as a thief in the night. Okay, so this this time. Of judgment, the day that Adwan Yahweh Shemar is going to come as a thief in the night, and we're almost there, and that's that's ultimately mercy, okay? Because we keep the patience of the heavenly Father; He's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. So, as as mighty as, as this word is being preached, the damn devil knows that he has put a short time, so he has to continue his wickedness. He has to continue uh, uh, his, his sorcery, his uh, what's it called? His uh, his sorceries, his enchantments. 
and ultimately that uh, his, his digital all was this MOTV. He has to come down the pipe because he's seen his spirit getting strong and this spirit is cursing this goddamn devil. We got this goddamn devil under the walls. So we understand that Yahweh Bashim and this devil understands that he has but a short time. So that's why he has, he's got to come with that. He's got to come with this new, that next phase and through the spirit of the red leg, we're going to pass all this shit with, uh, with uh, flying colors. Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter uh, 1 and 14, it's locked it. it. says, the great day of the Ottawan is near, it is near and hasten greatly. Even the even the voice of the, of the day of the Ottawan, the mighty man shall cry bitterly. The day is, it says, the day is at wrath. It says, and, it, and a, it says, that that day is of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. It says, and that, it says, and a day of darkness and gloominess. A day of, of thick clouds and darkness. And how do we know that this is at hand? Why? How? Because we measure not the time diligently. You see all, all spectres upon the earth. You're seeing the whole, every city, every, you can't pick a point upon the globe anywhere where everything's in a, in a goddamn disarray. Approach of the people, famine, seditions, rumors of war. All these things are being played out on the world stage, in which is, we understand to the spirit that Yahweh is getting ready to lay this bitch down. All right? You bear with me here. I'm going to continue more on, you know, us, uh, you know, uh, being free from captivity and all that stuff. But, you know, right now, uh, the Yahweh Hashem Shai got me in the spirit of prophecy, which is a, which is the spirit of Hamashiach El Shai. And you got, and, and another prophecy is that you got damn crackers is going to get ready to go into slavery. Okay, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay, but we're going to get on these prophecies in regards to the judgment of Babylon the Great, which that's a part of it. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 9 and 1 says this is what we're seeing. Through the spirit. Second Ezra chapter 9 and 1 says, He answered me then and said, Measure out the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I told thee before, right? Yahweh Shemash has declared this from the beginning. He's, he's going to destroy this place. And then, what, what's that part? It's that part where it says, when sh, uh, The apostles were asking Yahweh Shai, when shall, when shall you again restore the kingdom unto Israel? Yahweh, you know, Yahweh Shemash has spoken of these things in the, time, in the times when he walked the earth. And now we're living in them, all right? Second Ezra chapter nine and one. He, so like I said, Second Ezra chapter nine and two says, "Then shall thou understand that it's the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." Verse three says, "Therefore, it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the world, then shall thou will understand that the Most High spoke of these. Then shall thou will. It says, then shall thou will understand that the Most High spoke of these things." From the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay, this this has been spoken of the destruction of Babylon the Great, the destruction of our people, two, uh, two thirds of our people, and and the heathen nations. Okay, where Yahweh is gathering the nations, right? You see that happening as well. All prophecies are jumping off the pages, and that's how we understand that we're very close. And all around, all around to the spirit, we're months away from the uh, from Yahweh Shemeshah cracking these clouds open and these ICBM missiles hitting this goddamn whore. Okay, Second Ezra chapter 9 and 5 says, For like all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, says 6 says, Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. This place is going down. Y'all, Bashimah is going to destroy you, goddamn devils, all right? And all you goddamn heathen nations. You goddamn, woo hee. Second Ezra's. Second Ezra uh, 9 and 6 says, Even so the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonderful works and endings and signs and effects. And hey, man, these people are going to be distressed. Totally distressed and, and done away with. We're going to go into the reason why Yahweh Shemesh is laying this place down to the spirit. Adoranto Zion is going to say, you know, Yahweh Shemesh is not going to allow his remnant uh, to the spirit, his remnant uh, to suffer, you know, to suffer these plagues. Second Ezra chapter 15 and 1 says, and this is what we've been commanded to do, says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Adawan. Verse 2 says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And, and this next scripture, that's a commandment, right? What he's telling us to do, right? And then moreover, he sees, you know, Joel chapter, well, there's 2 and 1. I blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain. What's that mean? That means that we're to blow the trumpet, and give warning to the people that a great destruction is at hand. So we're doing, we're fulfilling prophecy. We're fulfilling 
privacy and commandment, com what we've been commanded of, to come out here on the highways and byways, to beat our, bid our people to the marriage, that they may repent uh, from, from their wickedness, from their transgression, turn back to the Heavenly Father and seek the Heavenly Father 10 times more. That, you know, that they may seek the Heavenly Father before the evils, the evil days draw nigh. All right, so we're, we're out here uh, bidding our people to the marriage, bidding our people to repentance. And, and, lay, and, and reading out of the, the Holy Scriptures of the things that the Most High God is getting ready to do. Second Ezra chapter 15. This is our people. Of course, this is all, all people, but the majority, you know, we use this, uh, we can use this for our people because uh, the majority of our people are unbelievers. They don't believe in the Heavenly Father. The scriptures say, uh, these people praise me with their lips, but praise me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right, I understand that concept. I understand that scripture very well because these people, right? I use an example like people in my family. They, they, uh, they have, um, they have heaped up riches. They have made investments. They have laid themselves with thick clay. They have built illusion, false illusions, false dreams, false sense of security, and thinking that this place uh, they're going to continue in their stead, in their riches, in their houses. Uh, but according to the scriptures, these things are not so. So our people are totally being seduced to believe that this place America is going to continue forever. That's contrary to the scriptures. And then we're telling our people at the same time, you so-called Spanish thing, maybe so-called African Americans, that you are the children of Israel. You got down white devil, the so-called white man lied to you. And if you, don't, if you can't understand that and you can't seek the Heavenly Father, the God of Israel, the God of the Bible, he's going to kill you. All right? I, got, I believe to see the Ishakar car. Could have been an uh, Ishkar, could have either been a uh, rough looking Ishkar or um, an Elamite, but we're, you know, we're, we're out here prophesying unto our people and into the nations. So, regardless, hey, the world's, the world's gonna come out and it goes it goes not out void through the Spirit. It accomplishes where, where it has been sent to, okay? Second Ezra chapter 15. Uh, so, okay, so second, coming back to Second Ezra chapter fifteen and three says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee." That's that's our people that come up against us, right? They mock us, they scoff us, they scorn us, and ultimately demonize us. And, and so we're not to fear them. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, incredulity, which is unbelief, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse four says, "For all the unfaithful shall die under unfaithfulness." Verse 5 says, Behold, saith the Adawan, I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hopeful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Adawan, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither. So that's in regards to, our, uh, to the world. Nothing but wickedness is exalted, right? What, what, what's the wickedness? Adultery, witchcraft, transgressions, covetousness. Murderers, everything that's uh, ex ex exalted here, folly is exalted. Gang culture is exalted. Women worship is exalted. Uh, pedophilia is exalted. Uh, bestiality is promoted. Uh, every everything America pushes is 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 a, is a destruction lifestyle. The food is contaminated. The scriptures speak about that. Our people are given to uh, to madness. You know the things that are too important to life have no regard. Which is which is doubt, law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father. So Yahweh Hashem ultimately has to just give these people death because they're they're living in death, okay? And through the Spirit, Yahweh Hashem, hey, we uh, he has he has uh, given us that breath of life. I don't want to saw. I don't want going to that through the Spirit. Uh, as I get there, Second Ezra chapter. This is the reason why. So this is where Yahweh Hashem is getting ready to bring upon the earth. Says, Behold, said the Ottawa, I'll bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Verse 6 says, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore saith therefore say the Ottawan, and this is uh, this next part. So the reason why he's gonna bring these things is because of all the wickedness that I you know that I mentioned. Ultimately the spirit mentioned it. Second Ezra, uh, you know what else we got? Transgenderism, Satanism in your school, uh, pedophilia in your school. Transgenders dancing for your school. All these things are promoting upon our children, right? We can use that as an example. You know, it's the wickedness the wickedness has exceeded polluted the earth. So that's why Yahweh's gotta bring these plagues. 
Second Ezra chapter 15 and 8 says, I will hold my tongue no more. I've ah. touched her in their wicked. Hey, Yabba Shemeshah, destroy you, goddamn devil. Kill that goddamn devil, all right? Bloody Yabba Shemeshah. How you like that for fucking reality? Okay? And you too, you fucking high ass idiot. All right? We're going to put curses up. We're going to put curses upon all these people that ain't right. That's why the Heavenly Father look, look, got you looking like a goddamn mess. Boy, you're getting ready. To, you're fucking, you're, you're about to go into slavery, you goddamn devil. Ah, we don't care. It's the end of the world. What, what, do, you, what, what do we got to be sensitive for? What do we got to be sensitive for? Come get Molly Wild, boy. Second Ezra's chapter... Second Ezra chapter, that fool looks stupid, bro. He looked like he looked like he was on fentanyl and all kinds of oids, bro. Just looking all stupid, all right? Looking at me, you know what I mean? Hey, you look at me like that in the kingdom, boy, your head's coming off, all right? Second Ezra chapter 15, I will hold my, and this is now, this is now, this is Yahabashim Yahabashim showing that mercy onto his people. Now you goddamn chinks. Now you goddamn gooks. You eat dog. Come bite chicken dog. Hey, y'all, your, your people's getting ready to go into slavery because you guys are racist to you so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans. Y'all look down upon us. But guess very, very shortly, as y'all about Shim Yao Shai, that's why you got that Jeep. You got uh, Xi Jinping. You got uh, the president of Korea. You got the all of Russia. Y'all about Shim Shai going to create that third world. Hey, you're going to die if you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't get yourself right, all right? Goddamn devils. I got a multitude of, uh, of scoffers, multitude of scoffers right now. And so we're, we're, so we're uh, uh, you know, Yahweh Shem El Shai, man, he's got me flared up. So we're in the time that Yahweh Shem El Shai, through the America circling the dream, which is the fulfillment of prophecy, he's showing mercy unto his rent, the elect of the nation of Israel. Who would that be? That'd be so-called Spanish, which is the Native Americans. All starting with the head tribe, the so-called African Americans. Okay, y'all, uh, y'all, the children of Israel, the Heavenly Father, that y'all, Bashim is trying to wake you up and let you know why you're you're in the condition that you're in. Because why? Because you haven't hearkened to the Heavenly Father. You're still elated in wickedness. You're not following what the Most High, your God, has uh, has laid up for you. Okay, you're still on some bullshit. So that's why y'all, Bashim has you in a low state. And until you come out of that. You're going to eat those missiles as well. Right, because I just seen another Jake, okay? And we're out here bidding, uh, bidding the Heavenly Father through the Spirit uh, that He may have mercy on us because we understand that. We understand the severe judgment of the Heavenly Father. So, lucky for, uh, so what I want to focus on, Yahweh uh, Shem So all these things that, these prophecies that uh, I'm speaking about, all these great plagues, right, Yahweh Shem is going to show favor. <laughs> unto his raiment to the leg, so I'll be able to talk about that. So this is the part where it says, Second Ezra chapter fifteen and eight says, "I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise." You know, the wicked of this of, of the earth, right? The other nations and our people. It says, "It says which they wickedly exercise themselves." Behold, the innocent. And the righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continuously. And Adam Rock is off to the spirit. Those are the ones that's being justified. Y'all about to have to his remnant to your leg. That's why, that's why it says, you know, but uh, he's going to have mercy on Jacob and get choose Israel. Okay? Y'all about to is in the time that Y'all about to is turning back uh, the captivity of, of our nation. Okay? Why? Because we're coming forth. We're weeping unto the Heavenly Father. One more time here. Jeremiah chapter 50 and 4 says, In those days and in that time, saith the Adawan, this is us getting ourselves together, cleaning ourselves up to the spirit. The children of Israel, which is the northern kingdom, right? Synonymous with the northern kingdom. Israel as a whole. The children of Israel shall come. They and the children of Judah, the southern kingdom, so-called uh, so Negro here in the Americas, right? The tribe of Judah, the head, the head you know, no, a, no tribes to be exalted over Judah, okay? All right? Which uh, says, the, uh, which is also, uh, which the house of Judah uh, also uh, consists of the Benjamites, Jamaicans, Haitians, right? Levi, the priests, okay? So Yahweh Shem Hashem has great, uh, we're seeking the Heavenly Father ten times more, coming up on, coming to our power, crying, to, uh, crying before the Heavenly Father that He may justify us, okay? 
Jeremiah chapter 15 and 4 says, In those days and in that time, see at the Adawan, the children of Israel shall come and the children of Judah together. That's that's that um those breaches, the scriptures speak about that. I I haven't I didn't cue that one up to the spirit, but the scriptures say uh well there's one that I can quote for sure it says uh to say uh ephraim shall not envy judah and judah shall not vex ephraim so these are the tabernacles of david that uh he was or he he's uh reaching that enmity before the tribes right we all understand that we all grew up we all went to high school we all grew up in the hood where you know and that's not more lot more over i might not even be an Iskar to be honest with you because i was always really dwelt with the southern kingdom anyways so that's another topic for another day but regardless you see the enmity, you know, we see the enmity, uh, vice versa, you know, uh, uh, Judah against Israel, Israel against Judah. So now as a whole, which is a fulfillment of prophecy, which all the all get that in Wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, 5 and 1. And we're, start, we're standing before those that have made no accounts uh, before, uh, before our labors. We're shaking the hand at our enemies. And that's a very fearful, fearful sight. The scriptures explain that. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 and 4 says, In those days and in that time, saith the Adawan, the children of Israel shall come, and they, it says, they and the children of Judah together going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Adawan their power. Verse 5 says, They shall ask the way to Zion, their faces inward, saying, Come, let us join ourselves to the Adawan in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. And it goes on to say, Our people is lost, uh, and because, you know, our people were very uh, what's this, that word um, impressionable people. So we get we're easily seduced. That's why you see our people in these harlot houses. They, they, uh, the leaders that our people keep unto them are not for their benefit. So so um, you know uh, that's why going back to Baruch chapter T two, we would remember ourselves. We would come back to that that like damn like this really does make sense. You know that we fell away from our power and that we're in this uh, position because we didn't want to hearken to the heavenly father but as pursuant to prophecy we're coming back to a time that we're Yahweh Hashem uh closing the breaches and that we're standing and we're standing on one accord uh, standing in Hamashiach Yahweh as a body and that's a very feel, fearful sight uh, for, the, uh, for the elite right and for the other nations because what does it mean like the brother said he says was once we're on top, what does that mean? A so-called African American, so-called Spanish, so-called Native American. It, once we get on top, which is which is prophecy, what's going to happen? What does that mean for the other nations that 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 uh, that conspired against us? We're going to have that ass under subjection, all right? All right, we going we going to render judgment unto the nations that spoiled us. Okay, so I'm going to continue to the spirit, and that's Yahweh Shem Shai showing great mercy unto us. Okay. So we're crying to the heavenly Father until He that, that He makes good onto these things. I, and this is the spirit that we should be in, okay? Isaiah chapter sixteen. So like Isaiah chapter sixty-two and seven says, "And give Him no rest till He established until He made Jerusalem a praise in the earth." And through the Spirit, that's what we're doing, okay? And we're crying to the heavenly father make uh praising him for the great uh deeds that and, and mercy that he's showing he's showing favor unto a nation so it's a it's a well uh it's a it's an honorable thing it's a great thing for us to show gratitude to the spirit first time that he's showing mercy uh to the nation as a whole okay the southern kingdom northern kingdom as well uh first chronicles chapter 16 and, and a says give thanks unto the auto want call upon his name Make his deeds known among the people. Verse 9. Sing unto him. Sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Verse 10. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the other one. And, 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 and um, that's a beautiful thing because we see that the mercy of the heavenly father. That what he's doing for us. He's bringing these, he bringing, he's bringing kings down. Literally for our sakes. So the scripture says we, you are rich. The, uh, it says, the rich sit in low places. Why we, why we are rich? Because we're rich in faith and we have the greatest promises, the greatest things laid up for us. We got crowns laid up for ourselves. Okay? We're going to be the rulers of the next world to come through the Spirit. That's why we sing songs unto Him. We praise the Heavenly Father because we understand that Yahweh Shem El Shai is promised. Yahweh Shem El Shai is not a man that he should lie. Yahweh Shem El Shai don't operate that way. First Chronicles chapter 16 and, and not. 16 and 9 says, Sing unto him, 
sing songs unto him. Talk ye of us wondrous works. Get ready to tell you goddamn devils in the cut. I say cuss. He's, about, he's getting ready to throw you got devils into slavery. All right. First Chronicles chapter 16 and 9 says, Sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Talk ye of us wondrous works. Verse 10. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Ottawan. Seek the Ottawan in his strength. Seek his face continuously. Yabashimashai allow us to do so. We give him no rest to make Jerusalem a praise upon the earth. And that's what we that's the uh that's us what we seek for. Okay? That's what we seek according to his promises. Uh we seek new heavens that dwell righteousness. All right, that's what we want through the spirit. And we're crying unto the heavenly Father and, and making making uh, so like it, making mention of His great deeds. So bear with me here. I'm gonna just go go through these ones that I have queued up to the Spirit. But it's, it's a very very great and beautiful time to be alive. I don't know if you saw. We see uh, the scriptures prescribed, right? Uh, according to uh, Sirach chapter 25 and 7 says, "There be nine things. There be nine things in my heart." So like, let me grab that. This is, this is the times that we're in. They're very, very joyous times to see the fall of our enemies. And our people don't get it. But, hey, oh, well, they don't get it. That There was a myth for them to get it. Sirach chapter 25 and 7 says, There be nine things which I have just in my heart to be happy. And the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Wadi Abba Shem El Shai. And look to the spirit. Yabah I get uh, this. Uh, I had this little thing. I'm not sure you brothers have it too. If you got Twitter, there's this daily, uh, daily verse. It's some white bitch. She, uh, she's got this daily verse. Uh, but it just reminded me so because Yahabah Shimash are talking about how he's through generations, he's gonna make our seed great for the, for these great works that we're doing. This is a, this is a, this is the greatest lot uh, ever known to man, which is which is being a prophet unto the nations, or right to the spirit. Psalms. You know, being a prophet and apostle, so, you know, not I'm not saying that I'm that. I'm just saying, Lord's will. That's who we are. Then this is an honorable thing. All right. Psalms chapter twelve and one. Check this out. Praise ye the Ottawan. Blessed is the is the man that feared the the Ottawan. Ottawan says, "That's us." That delighteth greatly in his commandments. Verse 2. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generations of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Hey, y'all want to read Isaiah chapter 60? It says, uh, this, uh, it says, uh, what's it say? The forces, uh, you know, the forces, uh, the gates shall be open. That the, that the forces of the Gentile may be, may be brought up. Okay, these, these nations are going to have to give their riches. A ball, a ball, y'all, bash, bash, destroy these goddamn devils that want to disrespect the altar, all right? Why do y'all, bash, y'all, shy? Make good on that. All you got, y'all people need judgment, okay? Psalms chapter, uh, uh, so like it's Psalms chapter 112 and, and 2 says, His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3, wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure forever. Unto the upright there, right, I'm gonna leave it there. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness shall endure forever. Why do y'all shy? Why do y'all shy for that? And we stand on that. So, so us, us seeing that y'all shy is working, and uh, uh, we can, we can, we can be more grateful. And it's it's it's, it's telling us. The holy, the holy Scripture is telling us, hey, when we to, hey, to exalt the heavenly Father with all our our strength. There's not, uh, we can't go far enough. Sirach forty three, and that's just ultimately this is be the exhortation. Sirach forty three and thirty, it says, when ye glorify the Ottawa, want, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will. Will ye far exceed, and when ye exalt him, put forth exceed and exalt ye, and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. What's that mean? Go hide, go hide in, in a parking lot, go in, 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 you know, back alley, prophet. Nah, bro, that means to stand you with your loins girt. We're in the end of the world. What do you got to lose? Stand boldly before the, before your enemies that have made no accounts of your that have afflicted thee, right? 
Ecclesiastes chapter 43 and 30 says, When ye glorify the honor one, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will ye far exceed, and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and put and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Hey, we can never go far enough. It says, and uh, this light affliction is not worthy, uh, not worthy, to, uh, it's not worthy of the things that we about to, that's going to be revealed in us. Okay, that, that's not worthy to be mentioned. Uh, I kind of want, I have an idea where it's at, but I don't want to, uh, let me see. Because this ultimately is a light affliction, right? And it's not worthy. Uh, uh, it's not worthy. You know. Okay, I'm going to lay that one down. Well, you brothers know what I'm talking about. Uh, when these things shall be revealed in us, okay? I'm going to grab a scripture here. With it's, it's rolling the spirit, right? Wisdom of Solomon. This one's been waiting to come out. Wisdom of Solomon. This 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 one makes sense as well. Wisdom of Psalm chapter five and one says, "Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the such that have afflicted him and made no account of his labors." That's the fulfillment of prophecy, and it talks about how this they're going to be in great terror. Verse two says, "When they see, it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they look for." Why? Because these people, right? Uh, our people are people that are unbelievers. And the nations, Esau, Edom, uh, all these heathen nations, once they see the elect rent, the elect get beamed up out of the destruction that's getting ready to befall, they're gonna be they're gonna be uh, confounded so far beyond all that they live. They're not expecting the children of Israel. Let me go back, I gotta go back to this. I gotta go back to this. They're not expecting us to be joint heirs with Hamashiach Yahushai. Wisdom of Psalm chapter 5 and 3 says, and they it says, and they repenting and groaning, anguish of spirit shall stay within themselves. This was he whom he has sometimes in derision and a power and a reproach. We fools account his life, we fools account his life madness, and his end to be without honor. So lock you up. Verse 5 says, How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh? And his lot is among the saints. That's what they're gonna say. And I wanna, I wanna, since the spirit got on me to mention this. I can't remember where it's at. Yeah, I remember where it's at. You know, they, the scripture, these people for the most part, right? Uh, only the elect is, no, is in the know. These people see us as just some bums, some crumb bums, some spicks, some spooks, some niggas out here uh, uh, just pissed off because we, we they think we're broke. We, uh, they, so they say, okay, they, they're, in, uh, they, they're thinking that we're not going to have honor in the end. But the scriptures mention uh, those that do so stiffly, those that do so stiffly for the name of the Ottawa. Hey, we got crowns laid up for us. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out with major salutations, major honor, okay? The greatest honor to the universe has ever seen. Starting with starting with our big brother, Yahweh Shai, which he's he's so righteous, he's gonna bestow it down all the way down uh, to his remnant, the elect, the 144,000. I want I want uh, I want to uh I want to read that depiction in the scriptures of that great day, the crowning of the elect. Go out, uh, and the crowning, uh, yeah, the crowning of the elect, obviously, okay? Sirach chapter 2. I mean, it's like a second Ezra. Chapter 2 and 42 says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. That's the remnant of the elect. It says, and all, it's, and and within and the one third, and they all praised the Ottawa with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high st stature. That's our Lord. That's our Lord. That's our big bro, Yahweh Shai. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he said crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Verse forty-four says, "So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? This is second, uh, this uh, the prophet Ezra. Verse." Uh, Verse uh, 45 says, He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing. And you're speaking to an angel. He says, He answered and said unto me, He's explaining what was going down. He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the heavenly Father. Now they are crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? Verse 47 says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh whom they have confessed in the world. 
Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Adawan. And then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell the people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Adawan thy power thou hast seen. And that's what we're doing, baby. The body out, we're doing, you know, the, the, the heavenly, the angel is giving the charge, but through the spirit, we're doing that as well. Because we're likened to the angels too. The body out by Shimei Shai, okay? And those, so, so now we, we give uh, we give praise. We give praise to the Heavenly Father. We give thanks and we exalt Him uh, as much as we can with all our strength through the Spirit. So ultimately, that's what I'm going to end up doing through the Spirit and give, giving thanks to the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Hashem Yashai, He's going to return unto us uh, very soon. Okay? He's going to wipe away uh, that transgression as though He's going to give us a pardon from our sins that these sins have uh, uh, that have beset us through the Spirit. I'm going to grab something through the Spirit. It kind of, I don't want to say I'm not going way too far off, but it just it's just that sin, you know, that sin was that wedge between us and the Heavenly Father. But Yahweh Hashem is going to have mercy on who? On not just anybody, on His reign of the elect, the right to the Spirit. I, I'm, oh, Lord's going to grab that, but I want to just make a make a quick uh, exhortation scripture to the Spirit. I don't want to say Yahweh Hashem allows, and then we'll go from there. Twelve forty-seven. So this is what we're to be doing, you know. Uh, the the angel was given the charge to show the uh, to to make mention of the uh, the great works, right? And as we do that as well, we, we stay in this fight. Hebrews chapter twelve one says, "Wherefore seeing that we are compassed about, so therefore seeing we are compassed about with so great." cloud of witness let us lay every weight and the sin which doeth easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us verse 2 looking unto Hamashiach the author and finisher of our, of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh for consider him that endures such contradictions of sinners against himself let least ye be Least ye be weird and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet ye, ye ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not the chastening of Yahweh, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him, for whom the Ottoman loveth, he chastised and scourges every son whom he receiveth. So that's why we're not offended. That's why we're standing here boldly speaking of the Heavenly Father and uh, begging for mercy, okay? That pride, hey, we, we don't look upon that. You know, Yahweh Shemesh has made us different, all right, to the Spirit. So that was just a quick exhortation of Scripture. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you know, we went through this affliction. So yeah, Yahweh Shemesh, we've been able to understand the bad, you know, what happens to us as if we disobey as a nation. And, and us uh, uh, fixing ourselves, right, right? Uh, uh, Walking in the ways of the Heavenly Father, the things that we're going to get. See, so he wanted us to appreciate, you know, we went through the bad ultimately to appreciate the good. Okay. And now we got to stand, we got to stand in great boldness and show ourselves men, show ourselves uh, the valiant men of the house of David. Okay. That's all around us. That's who we are through the spirit. And these songs, man, that's why, hey, Lord's will. That's why these songs, that's why these songs, man, hey, hey, they're written, you know, that, that those were the songs of David. All right. So Tawadi Abba Shimi Asho. So like this. Tawadi Abba Shimi Asho. Let's check this out. So we 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 thank the Heavenly Father and praise His name uh, because we understand the affliction and, and us uh, we appreciate uh, this chastising. We appreciate uh, the works of the Heavenly Father. We appreciate the mercy that He's shown us by giving us uh, Hamashiach Yahushai, giving us this doctrine, giving us this faith of belief. Okay, and which ultimately is our pathway to salvation. Psalms chapter. Uh, 124 and 1 says if it had not been the Ottoman who was on our side now and these are you know speaking uh, ultimately the remnant the election and make it through Psalms chapter 124 if it had not been the Ottoman who was on our side now may Israel say if it had not been the Ottoman who was on our side when men rose up against them against us our enemies verse 3 says then they have swallowed us so quick when their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters have overwhelmed us and stream has gone up over our souls. 
then, 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 then the proud water shall gone over our souls. Blessed be the odd one who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our souls is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fallers. Fallers, the snare is, is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Adawan who made the heaven and the earth. Hey, Hey, Lord, so we get the fuck up out of here this year. All right. And then going to one more psalm that this, this nightmare that we're living in because we're not joined to this world. We, uh, the scriptures uh, said, rise and depart for this is not your rest because it's polluted, it shall destroy you. And that the rent, the elect, we understand that through the spirit and we fight against it. We wrestle with it against daily. So once we, this burden, these bodies, this this transgression, the, this affliction is, is wiped away from us. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be a, a huge relief. Psalms chapter 21, uh, like Psalms chapter 126 says, and the top says, when the Adwan turned again, the captivity is on. And that's the time that we're seeing. And the more we prophesy, the more we uh, commit ourselves to the Heavenly Father and perfect our love to the Heavenly Father. Yah Bashim he's bestowing, uh, he, he's unlocking uh, our captivity, right? When the Adwan turned again, the captivity is on. We are like then that dream. Verse 2, then was our, then was our, that, it's going to be like a dream. Once, once this burden is lifted up off of us, these chains, these chains of darkness, these these yokes of iron, right? These fucking bodies. Verse 2, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Adwan have done great things for them. That's what these people are going to say. The nations, right? Verse 3 says, the Adwan have done great things for us, whereof, whereof we are glad. Verse 4 says, so like this, so we sing into the spirit, right? The, the body, Hamasha Yashai, Yashai says, Psalms chapter 26 and 4 says, Turn again our captivity, O Adawan, as the streams of the, of the south. So like it, Turn again our captivity, O Adawan, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Verse 6, He that goeth forth and weeping, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bring his sheaves with an eighth. Why do y'all about shit outside? I'm going to leave it there. Giving all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh, Kala, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rock with Dosh. Hey, double honors to the Apostles Great Millstone, who taught us the truth and who were well. I want to give a humble citation to the hopeful leg, pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom. Hey, a ball, a ball, GTA, death to America. Shalom.